Thank you for tuning in to what is now episode four. Thanks everyone for watching and thanks for the great responses I've been getting. Um, overwhelmed with the support, especially uh, from people I know who tune in again to watch uh, my build from the first time round and decided to tune in again. Um, right, oh, oh, I won't rattle on too much, but okay, I want to get the templates cut for this side and obviously once I've done each side replicate them for the other side so all I'm going to do is mask off some paper get the line right cut it with scissors and then I'll lay that on top of the ply and then obviously mark round cut the ply offer it up it's perfect no more cutting involved that's ready for carpeting then and fitting so that's where we're at so we'll get on with that so as you can see there um, I've cut the paper, cut it round, it's perfect for the shape now and then all I'll do is I'll lay that on top of the uh, ply and just do a, an outline with a pencil, cut it with a jigsaw and then offer it up. Uh, I've cut it so that it's going to go along and then in there at the edge all the way along the bottom and I've just got another piece to cut just at this bottom corner here to get that in line with that. And then we're ready for the first template. Unfortunately, it's a little bit windy, so we'll have to be careful. But I can tape it down, mark it, and that's it. We're ready to go. Okay, as quick as you can. Just mark that all the way. Now the template's all cut out. Offer it up, put it down the wires there. There we are. That drops nicely just beyond that lip there, into there. So when that's screwed in, that'll be a nice tight fit to there. The carpet will come over here nice. Yeah, be a good finish. Happy with that. The carpet's on order as well. I've got it off uh, Amazon. It's, uh, we've gone for the smoke uh, because we found the, the other grey was just too light uh, but the smoke seems to be a decent colour and it's coming with uh, five, well no, ten tins of spray uh, but that was all part of the price sort of thing but yeah so when that comes which should be here in a couple of days I'm going to take this off as well now get this measured up marked up and everything and get ready to get some uh, you know fit the carpet from here down get this template cut out as well so we'll crack on with that cutting that template now it's made that so much easier get this side done as well just made short work of everything for it perfect okay next on the agenda is pinning this in so it's a nice gentle how far we've got, we've got plenty, so we're going to go about here. <laughs> Countersink the screw. The metal is paper thin, so I'll put a couple of screws, I'll do one there, one there. Is that baby in? Nice. 
other side now I've uh, obviously sanded it, shaped it, made sure it fits nice, fed the cable through, that comes out there now because this is where my fuse box is going to be here so it keeps it all together the pieces of wood fastened in that I want to now the rest of this is all that some of the insulation pushed into it now so now I'm ready for the first bit of carpet I'm undecided whether to start at the bottom or start at the top I'm unsure yet but uh, I might start at the top and work down and I can push against it there got myself one of these tools here only held cheap two quidders but what they do help with is when you get into these edges here, pushing it right in, getting it into that corner and straightening it so that you can get that pushed right in. Another thing I've done is I've bought myself some suede gloves. There's a lot of sharp metal edges about here and you can cut yourself as I have done in the past but also if you've got a pair of gloves on like this you can push right in push into that, push into these edges and not worry about cutting your hands and you can push in like that as well. Also saves you from getting, you can burn your hands if you're rubbing on the carpet too quick so nice and firm, working the carpet in with these gloves and everything and of course using a tool to push into the edges like that. Um, so we're just ready, uh, what I'll do is mark it out now and get a piece of carpet and I'll get all this done in a one of this piece here all in one stretch right up to there so I'm going to remove the door rubbers now move the rubber off the back there as well and then get a piece of carpet cut ready I've cut it it's got two sides to it it's got a fairly flat side and this side is visibly sort of more fluffy and this is the out this is the side that you want to have Showing, you know, this is the best side. <coughs> it's all measured up now, so all this is case of now is just getting it comfortable to where I want it, to where I'm going to put it first. Right, before I start spraying, a couple of things, piece of wood. So I can protect the stuff that I'm spraying, so I'm not getting it everywhere. You know, not getting it on the upholstery that I don't want it to be on. And then all I'll do is I'll start at the top, and I'll just tack it in like so. <coughs> I'm starting at my furthest piece so that's going to come across to there like so and I'm ready so I'll do in there don't forget to move the wood with it carpet make sure you're up at the top down at the bottom plenty of space nice and straight and in
leave that to go tack up a little bit lift the carpet right up right what I'm going to do now is I'll go all the way across here now tack all that bit in now Get the old gloveys on, glovey lovey, because I've got me straight edge to work from now, which means that the carpet's going to be nice and square. Don't have to worry too much about overspray here. Plenty of it, and then work it in up to there, like that. Remember, in its four way stretch, it will stretch. See that how it's working into the grooves now? Give it a chance to stick in and go off. And just take your time, there's no rush. This glue's not going anywhere. Just apply it. Keep pushing it into that groove, working it in. Like so. There you go. With these final bits here. Now, <clears throat> I did say take your time with this, and you have to, you really have, sometimes you have to pull it back, respray, push it down again, because you'll get little creases and stuff like that. Work them out while you're doing it, just keep working down, trying to keep it as straight and as, flare, um, as flat as possible, uh, and square, that's what I was trying to say, cross between flat and square, flare. Um, it's taken a lot of Depeche Mode and Ultravox to get this far, but... Uh, Obviously due to copyright issues I can't share that with you. Now all I've got left here now are the edges, you know, so obviously that's just hanging loose uh, because it's given me the chance to play, you know, uh, and move the carpet about. I concentrated on the centrepiece here after I got all the initial window compartment filled because we're not putting anything in there. Tracy wants a decorative piece of wood cut something that's in line with the ceiling design so we're going to do that now i was going to put screws into this piece of metal because if you look on here you can see it's um it's basically the uh, reinforcement for the structure and rather than putting a screw into that um, because you're always going to worry that you put screws in which are not deep enough so they don't hold it properly or screws that are too big and then they're going to poke your exterior wall nobody likes being poked in the wall do they so i thought what about magnets strip magnets so when i've got my piece of wood cut and um I th tracy wants wood going across the top you know on, on the ply she likes that design so she wants that to continue along there it's just little strips of wood so on the back i thought maybe um a strip here of a magnet and a magnet there and probably a magnet on the end and on that end and maybe a short one there and a short one there 
bits, you know, the strip ones that you can buy and I'll stick them to the wood and then hopefully we can just pop that on and then if it needs to come off or come out of the way or she decides to have a window fitted, we've got the template straight away and she can mark it out, job done. But obviously she can change the design as well because she can remove it and if she decides that the wood's maybe a bit too harsh she can go around the ideas of having that as a, maybe a, a kind of a headboard idea and leaving that as the wood. So as you can see if looking down here there isn't a lot of room to move around so taking your time working it down repeeling it back sticking it down and then we've got down to this stage now now we're down to the floor there and we are almost at the floor there I've got to cut a little hole in the carpet to pull the electric cable through um, I'm pleased with it it's looking well and you can see it's following the contours of the van now and it's looking quite smart so we'll get this last piece finished now once you've finished listening to Ultravox uh, once you've finished gluing I mean <coughs> just cut away the excess because you don't want that flapping about making a mess and this needs to go off nice so you need to find any weaknesses as well so all I do cut into it and just follow that seam up as far as it can let me like so see that's loose needs retacking down and get that done okay all done all fitted um, obviously I've got the excess hanging over here but I'm not going to rush to cut that down yet. All the side pieces now in, rubbers replaced and fits well. It all looks nice and tidy. Like it was sort of factory finished in a way. It's good, really pleased with it. Taking the last of these trims out here, they pop at the top like so. And once you've popped that bottom one, last for the top one, there like that, then that, there you go, just lifts from there. That's it. Um, these, uh, what secure the cables, they're a little bit fiddly, but there is a way around them. If you've not done them before, just push a little screwdriver in the end there, push and that should pop forward like so there you go so that pops that bit out and then you just need to get a screwdriver in the top bit push that down there you go and it pops out it's just two lugs you see them once they're depressed from either side then it'll just pop out Keep down like so. That's it. Just keep pulling the wrinkles out. As you can see, working it further down now. See the little, you get the little creases and the wrinkles and everything, but what I do is I just move it with my hand, see where it's gonna go, which direction is sort of favorable. And then I can work out a nice flat area that I can work on. Obviously I've come around here now, work that in. That's already stuck down, just got the edges to do there. So there's a nice flat piece there. So I'm gonna, there look that will do that's the piece I want to work on now it almost kind of presents itself you know like that put your favorite music on take your time 
and glue away. See there, look, as it starts to tack, stroke it down, keep lifting it from the bottom there, so you can work them creases out, and there you go, and that's starting to work into that now, look, there we are. And just keep working your way down nice and steady this will be my next port of call now see how that's there yeah, like that so work that in have a little look under there see and just keep working down there you go see that look what looked like it was going to be really creased is fine and you just keep working those wrinkles there so you work it into all of the glue and just use plenty of glue. there you go see that look and that little piece where it was stretched with the wrinkle gone there you go just keep working it back that's it See that and just keep doing that all the way down anyone can do it I'm a carer I work with autistic adults so this is not my profession it's just a case of watching lots of YouTube videos and just applying other people's knowledge and what you're learning along the way and you'll get there so even that looks a bit troublesome but there you go that will that will come good in the end just keep working it down like that right fire off into this corner now get this bit smartened up same principle working it down I'm gonna do it to a bit of music so it's time for some human league and uh, I'll show you that bit once I've worked it down, but all I've done, peel it back, spray it, work it down, same as I have done with that piece there. Okay, that's it for the carpeting. We're in both sides now. So now I'll start working on the roof and putting the slats across the top, which will be in the next video. Um, yeah, if you're enjoying what you're seeing, uh, got any questions or anything, please shout up. Uh, I'm happy to pass on anything that I've learnt which might be useful to you guys but uh, the strongest thing I would actually say is not always like and subscribe and this that and the other it's just if you want to have a go at van life as in getting a van doing it up yourself getting out and about um, then this is the way to do it Note to self when making video for YouTube, press record, <laughs> there we go.